Hey, welcome to Tighten Up Today. It's your boy CD back again with another episode. Today, I'm going to bring you Friday's practice and injury report wrap up and predict the last 13 games on the schedule for week six and give you a detailed breakdown of what I believe that the Tennessee Titans stat line will look like against the Denver Broncos this Sunday at Mile High. I finally wrap it all up and conclude with my bold prediction for this week. But there's no need to delay. Let's get right down to it. All right, welcome back. Let's get into this Friday injury and practice report. So, newly acquired running back Rod Smith has already made his way to the injury report with a groin. He's questionable for this week's game, but he was a full participant yesterday. Chris Milton did not practice and remains questionable. And the worst news, both Cameron Wake and Sharif Finch both are out, downgraded from questionable to out, as they did not practice yesterday. So, let's get right on into these game predictions. Before I even do that, though, I want to bring, um, let you know that I'm bringing on two guys. They're not physically coming on, but I'm gonna, as I give you my predictions, you'll see them over here over my right shoulder, their predictions as well on the game. We have a little bit of running competition. This way we can settle this once and for all. My boy A-Town, avid 49ers fan. He loves them bums so much. And then my other boy, his name's Lun. He's a, a big time Aints fan from Louisiana. But um, no need to delay. Let's get right into it. All right. So first up, Carolina at Tampa Bay. Vegas is showing Carolina as a two-point favorite. Me, I'm going to give them Tampa Bay. My prediction, Tampa Bay wins 28-7. Next on, the, next on the docket, Philadelphia at Minnesota. Minnesota's favored by three. I'm saying Minnesota wins 26-21. to Washington at Miami. Washington's favored by three and a half. I say Washington wins as well, but they actually cover that spread when 27 to 20. Next, Houston at Kansas City. Kansas City, negative four favorite. Or negative four. They're four point favorite. And um, I have Kansas City to actually win by four, 28 to 24. New Orleans, the Aints at Jacksonville. Jacksonville is favored. I don't know why, but they're favored by two and a half. And I'm actually going to go. I was I liked them as an underdog anyway, but they're not even the underdog. They're their favorite. But I'm going to go with them. Jacksonville to beat um, New Orleans on the grass, 26-3. to three. Seattle at Cleveland. Seattle's favored by one. I got Cleveland to win this game, 24-23. to 23. Kind of a little bit of a, a, a shocker, if you will, because especially after the way Cleveland's got blown out last week. But I'm telling you that this is going to be a different game, totally different game. Watch and see. So, next, Cincinnati at Baltimore. Baltimore's favored by 10 and a half. I got Baltimore to win 33 to 20. They're going to blow them out. Expect that. San Francisco, the 49ers at Los Angeles Rams. Rams are favored by three. I actually got the 49ers to win 28 to 24. Atlanta at Arizona. Atlanta is favored by two and a half on the road. We beat them pretty good. I know they're going against the rookie. But I got Arizona to actually beat Atlanta at home, get the win, 28-24. to Dallas at New, um, New York Jets. Dallas is favored by 7. I got Dallas to win 27-17. to Should be easy. Pitt at, I want to say Pitt at LA Chargers. I always mix up those LA teams. But LA Chargers are favored by 6.5 points. I got the Chargers to win easily with their like fourth string quarterback that the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to wheel out there. Um, they win easily 24 to 10. Monday Night Football, big game, Detroit at Green Bay. Green Bay's favored by three and a half. I think Green Bay handles business at home in Lambeau, 27 to 23. And it seems like that all their games that they're playing, all their big games they're playing at Lambeau. I don't know. That doesn't seem too fair, but nonetheless. So Tennessee at Denver, our game. Denver is favored at this point by one and a half. All right. I hear you, Vegas. But let me break down exactly what's actually going to happen. So this is what the stat line is going to look like. Marcus Mariota putting, um, going 20 for 24, 226 yards, one touchdown. No picks, no fumbles. He might get sacked four times, though. No, sure, not sure on that. He also will run the ball. I got him for two carries 
for 25 yards, no touchdowns. Derrick Henry, number 22, will have 25 carries, 132 yards, and two touchdowns. Deion Lewis, not as many carries. We have three carries for 24 yards, no touchdowns, but he will catch two balls. No drops today. Two receptions, 13 yards. Corey Davis, have him for three receptions for 28 yards. Very quiet game. Again, like I told you last week, uh, earlier in the week, I do, I do not see us throwing the ball for much um, success to, on, um, I'll say tomorrow. So, Next on, next up, I got A.J. Brown, three receptions for 32 yards, no touchdowns. Adam Humphreys, four receptions for 43 yards, no touchdowns. Tajay Sharp does make it onto the stat sheet, gets one reception for a big 18-yard gain. Delaney Walker, Delaney Walker will have six receptions for 92 yards and a touchdown. Now, that is not... Massive numbers, but for what we've been doing and product, um, producing this year, it's a very good game, a solid game from Delaney Walker. Johnu Smith all, also has a catch. I have him down for 13 yards, no touchdowns. So the final score after all those stats put together, again, I remind you, Tennessee is the underdog by one and a half points at mile high. I have Tennessee winning this game 24 to 17, and the points break down to that's Two touchdowns for Derrick Henry. One passing touchdown for Mariota. That goes to Delaney Walker. And our newly acquired field goal kicker, Cody Parkey, goes one for two. Gets one in and puts up 24 points for his total to win 24 to 17. All right. So what we've all been waiting for, and we've been waiting long enough. It's been a week already. My bold prediction. But before we go there, let's flash back to last week. Now, my bold prediction for the game, I'm going to go and tell you, right now, Buffalo Bills defense, major stingy defense, especially against the run. At this moment in time, the longest run they've given up all season is 27 yards. I'm going to go and tell you right now, my bold prediction is, we break that. And then after that bold prediction, this is what Derrick Henry did. I'd like to see Frank Gore get that ball. Mariota, they go lead option play. Here is Henry. Breaking free his biggest play early. I was that close. Derrick Henry ran for 24 yards, and the Bills at that point had given up 27 yard rush as the most. I needed four more yards from you, Big 22. Four more yards, 22. No worries though. This week I redeemed myself. And this was an easy one. My bold prediction. Bold prediction for week six. <sighs> Harold Landry will record two sacks. At least one of them being for a fumble. Again, I repeat, two sacks, one forced fumble on one of those sacks. Harold Landry, watch the game. You'll see. You heard it here first. All right, well, that concludes this episode. Join me tomorrow as I bring you the final injury report and this week's keys to the game. Now, if you like, loved, or want more of this Tighten Up Today show, show your boy some love. Click the like button, hit the subscribe button right there in the middle, or even hit the notifications bell down to the bottom right-hand corner. Get yourself notified for tomorrow's episode. Now, before you leave, one question. Why tighten up tomorrow when you can tighten up today?